What's going on everybody? It's me Brandon back again with another episode and today we are going to be talking about games of service battle pass games, just live service games in general. I think this is a modern trend in video games that I do not like. I think this is doing a lot of damage to current video games and I really hope there's a way we can try and figure this whole thing out. It's been going on probably since the uh, advent of games like Fortnite, Destiny 2, and ever since then, it's just been a thing. The biggest problem with these types of games is that the developers want us to live within these titles. Not every game needs to be a live service game to be lived in. I really don't think a Suicide Squad game necessarily needed to be a live service title. A game like Batman Arkham Knight, any of those games, I really don't see being a live service. It makes no sense. I think Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League would have been perfectly fine as a narrative driven game. And this all concerns me mostly because I believe yesterday as of this recording, a Warner Brothers executive was talking about Hogwarts Legacy and how great Hogwarts Legacy did. It was like the top selling game of 2023. It was incredible and I also talked about it here on the channel and I really enjoyed it. but. They stated they would rather have a Harry Potter game where you can build up the characters, build up the world, and have it be lived in a la a live service title. And I am not crazy about that at all. Now, I really liked Hogwarts Legacy, as I've said in my review. I really liked being able to go ahead and be a student in Hogwarts. It's something I think every fan of the series has always kind of imagined themselves through, and I always loved that idea, and Hogwarts Legacy allowed you to do that, and it made it really cool, and there were so many things from the books, the movies, and it was this beautiful love letter to Harry Potter, and I loved everything about it. But I don't think every single game or these modern developers, they shouldn't look for titles like this in every single IP. I really hope that in the future we can go back to a season pass model. I think in the PS3 and the Xbox 360 generation, a lot of people hated that shit. And I understand, but getting a pass for $30 and understanding that we're getting a content expansion here, we're getting another one here, and we're getting like cosmetic items here, and then there's one overarching DLC that's gonna you know, end the whole season or whatever. I miss that. I would rather pay the $40 or whatever instead of paying live service fees, so uh, virtually an endless amount, to these developers when sometimes the content may not even be worth it. And I understand that's the same argument you can have with a season pass, but I think I just miss the days of having a video game that you play and once you're done, you're done. You put it on the shelf. If you really like that game, go ahead, go play it again and enjoy what you have. Video games aren't meant to be lived in. There are certain games like World of Warcraft, you know, MMOs, and you have the Destiny 2s and, and some of these other titles. Fortnite is another big example. But I don't think every single game needs to be a live service title. I think this is really washing out the industry. I think a lot of these newer releases, when developers are going for that, you know, lived in video game, it's just not working. I don't think people want to be playing these games. There was that thing that happened with The Last of Us Online that happened, you know, a couple months ago that it was finally canceled. And that has been a game that's been in development forever. I don't understand why we can't just have a game come out and we play it just like we did in the past. There was games that I really liked, like Starhawk 2, which nobody played on the PS3. I thought it was really cool. Maybe it came out too early. Maybe try it with those types of series, but to get a Last of Us game and just expect that we're gonna try and make it a live service game, even though it is multiplayer, I just don't see it. I would rather have a, hey, we're dropping this game, we're gonna enjoy it for a couple of years, and then when the, the community dies out naturally or, or there's not a lot of, of play anymore, we're just gonna, that's it, and then on to the next. I think that's a big issue and I hope we get 
more titles in the future that kind of show that we just want to play the single player experiences that we want to play. Now, granted, if you make a multiplayer mode, that's great, but it's all about the live service. That is what is killing everything. The battle passes, all of these different takes and, and new ways to kind of keep us staying and playing the same game. I love video games, as I've talked about on this channel numerous times, but I just want to play as many as I can. I don't want to live in every single game that comes my way. So when I do finally play Justice League or Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League, I'm going to play that story. Same thing with Gotham Knights. I haven't played that yet, but I'm going to play the story. I'm probably going to like it. But I'm not doing any of this extra, you know, lived in live service content. It's just not necessary. And some people, if they really enjoy the game, go ahead and have at it. But I think just these days, we're expecting it, it, everything to be sold for us to be lived in. And I don't want to be playing these live service games. But that is my opinion on this matter. And it's something that I completely keep you know, pinballing off of my friends and asking, hey, what's your thoughts on this as well? Because it is something that I would rather have a nice single player experience that's 20 to 30 hours than having a game that's going to get ever growing content and just for the sake of it be lived in like an Avengers style game where it has huge promise and falls flat on its face. So Please let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this video. Do you also feel like me? Do you miss the do you miss like the big really good AAA single player experiences, the season pass model? I feel like games were much better in previous generations, but please let me know in the comments down below. As always, my name is Brandon and I will see you all next time.